Hello everyone. Our job for today is verifying and troubleshooting NAT configurations. Here we got an addressing table. A contractor restored an old configuration to a new router running NAT, but the network has changed and a new subnet was added after the old configuration was backed up. It is our job to get the network working again. Part 1. Isolate Problems Only R2 can ping server 1. So there might be something wrong with NAT configuration on R2. Part 2. Troubleshoot NAT configuration. Step 1. View the NAT translations on R2. NAT is not working because there is no table entries. Step 2. Show the running configuration of R2. The NAT inside port should align with the private address, while the NAT outside port should align with the public address, so interface S0 slash 0 slash 0, N, S0 slash 0 slash 1, was configured with the wrong NAT configuration. Step 3. Correct the interfaces. Interface, S0 slash 0 slash 0 should be the NAT outside port, and interface, S0 slash 0 slash 1 should be the NAT inside port. Step 4. Ping server 1 from PC1, PC2, L1, L2, and R2. L1 and L2 can't ping to server 1. Step 5. View the NAT translations on R2. NAT is working, but devices on 10.4.11.0 slash 24 network can't access the internet, so there might be something wrong with the access list for NAT on R2. 
Step 6. Show access list 101 on R2. As you can see, the present access list does not encompass the two networks. The wildcard mask should be 0.0.1.255. Step 7. Correct the access list. Delete access list 101 and replace it with the correct wildcard mask. Part 3. Verify Connectivity Step 1. Verify Connectivity to Server 1 Now, all the hosts are able to ping Server 1. Step 2. View the NAT translations on R2. That's all for this activity. Thanks for watching.